do you think Trump will be elected to a second term? <laughs> what will be the state of our politics in four years? Now, there's a parlor game in Washington, Ezra, maybe you were aware of it, that like, people are wondering if he's going to make it two years. Yeah. But w do you think President Trump will be elected to a second term? Well, given my and my colleague's sterling record of prognostication from this election, <laughs> let me tell you how the future <laughs> will turn out. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, if he'll be elected a second term. I do, I do not buy that he won't make it two years. I think he'll be there through his first term, barring some kind of calamity or health issue. Uh, I will say I am really... Oh, my God, I sound like such an old man. <laughs> I am worried about where politics is going to go. Uh, and, and first, you have to say I'm, you're worried, I am worried about it because people are going to get hurt. And it could be a lot of them. We don't know what the consequences will be. We don't know if there will be uh, an unwise war, right? The, the tale of outcomes of Donald Trump is genuinely wide. I was speaking to somebody the other day who is nominally on Trump's side of the aisle, and he turned to me and he said, if we get Gorsuch and there's no nuclear war, I'll count that as a win. You don't usually hear that kind of thing. And like, that's usually not what people have to say. But... So there's the question of what policies are followed and how well the basic functions of government are done, right? I mean, something I think people are not considering is Trump will have to deal with disasters. How good is Donald Trump's FEMA going to be? I'm not confident right now, given who they're appointing and what pace they're appointing at, but we'll see. But it's going to be really hard to be a decent person around American politics for the next four years. Uh, I think that even without Trump, it's getting harder. Polarization, which is complicated, and we could talk about it whatever length people feel like, but it does pull people very far apart. It does cocoon them. It does make it easier to, to demonize the other side. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter and social media, I think, reward a glibness and an anger and a sort of like insult that your friends retweet but that collectively creates a pretty inhospitable sphere. But also, I do think that there is at least something to the idea that behavior gets modeled down from the top. I mean, this is some of the leadership that, that Danny's been talking about. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump models a form of political behavior that is just meaner. Yeah. I mean, and I mean that in like the most genuine sense of the term, just meaner and pettier and more vengeful. I'm not saying past politicians are blameless. I'm not saying that everybody, that politics is a gentle sport. It's not. I mean, people say unkind things. They demonize their opponents. But Trump, there's a, very, there's, there's a difference not in degree but in kind here. And we here, we, we see um, reports all the time of children adopting Trumpian terms to kids who are brown at their schools. On Twitter, just if you're a po political person on Twitter, like in the morning, the president of the U.S. is coming up and insulting his political opponents. It makes it okay. Yeah. It makes it seem like that is how politics works. That is the way political communication functions. Four years of that, four years of those norms getting broken down, four years of everybody becoming used to that. Politics is ugly now in a lot of ways. It isn't a place that makes people happy. It isn't a place people think is noble. We were talking about um, the children who are our future a couple minutes ago, but there's <laughs> a book by Jennifer Lawless and Richard Fox about they were, where they polled millennials on their attitudes towards running for office and serving in office, and they found that no matter how you look at it, young people just think being in politics is loathsome. They don't ever want to have anything to do with it. When they rank professions, they rank it just dead last, almost no matter how many you give them. That's bad. It means the people who will want to be part of this in the future will not want to be there. And this will have consequences. I don't know how bad they will be, but it's not good for politics to become this ugly in this conflictual sphere.